Hello, Contagious Creatives. This is Rebecca, and I am back for day 28 of our daily creative practice. And today we are going to move to the cover. I asked you, I think, last week to start thinking about your cover and what you wanted it to look like and feel like and what you wanted on it. And let's talk a little bit about that. Sometimes I just leave the cover of the book as is. And, you know, that way, if you put it on a shelf and somebody picks it off the shelf, they get a nice surprise when they see it. And then at other times, I decorate just the front. Other times, I may just paint the book. At other times, I may collage or do some other kind of element. So we're just going to play it by ear and see what happens on this. I think I'm going to call it Enchanted. So that is just really going to be where we're going to go from here. So I want the cover to reflect that. So the first thing I did, if you're going to put paint or any kind of collage elements or something on your book, is to go ahead and put a nice layer of gesso over it. And it's not to cover anything up. It's not to cover up the color or any of those sort of things. It's just to give it tooth to hold on to the other bits and pieces that we're going to put on here. Let me make sure I'm in the front of the book, and I am. So maybe I'll start on the back this time. Just do some experiments on the back, and I am gonna come in and put a piece of wax paper underneath this, just to make sure that I don't get any of this stuff that I'm going to do on the pages. So I want to, I've got, I found this wonderful napkin that I am going to use to um, put some elements on it because some of the elements that were in this scrapbook paper package have this birdcage on it and birds, we've got butterflies. Even though this is kind of a Christmas one, it's gonna work just fine for what we're gonna do. So I'm going to use elements of the paper napkin. Of course, I'm going to use elements that we've used in the book. I'm going to paint a little bit and do some different kind of things here. Let me show you the easy way to get the backing off of a napkin is with just some regular old tape. This is a really good napkin, so it has two layers of backing on it. So let's try this again. There, it worked pretty cool. So let me tear that off. And of course, save that because that can be used in many, many ways in our art journaling. I think I've got it all off now. So don't throw that away. Make sure you save it. And it's a good thing I was going to tear this, but you could. You could put this all down on your book. You could put it completely down as is but I think I'm just going to tear some elements out of there I want the bird cage I want the butterfly let me tear around that little bird I always try to work fast when I'm on making these videos so Sometimes I go places I don't intend to go when I'm making these. So I think that's pretty good. I want the butterfly. And is there anything else? I think that's pretty good for now. Let me set this aside and turn the book this way. And of course, it doesn't have to be straight or perfect or anything like that. I like to use my gel medium to apply elements, but you could use you could use white glue, you could use Mod Podge, you can use all kinds of things. So, whatever you have on hand is what you need to use. I'm just going to put this down, and I'm sure you know that we put. The gel medium under as well as over. I 
And I've got my little bird a little messed up, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with the flow. And I think I'm going to turn this over and put the butterfly here on the spine. <laughs> the word just slipped my mind while I was painting here. Oh, that's going to look really cool, isn't it? I love that. So what else are we going to do here? I think I'm going to go ahead and paint a little bit around there. And I think I'm going to start with watercolor. And some of those colors we used earlier. And this really isn't my watercolor brush, but I'm going to go with that. around with some of the colors and we'll leave that mostly yellow in there and we'll get some of the pink in that but I want to create some texture so let me come in here with just this backing off the paper that we just used and dab into my watercolor and boy did that create some beautiful texture in there see that? Isn't that cool? Just by dabbing into the watercolor while it was still wet. And we've got time to play with this because uh, we put the gesso down. So let me come in. We've got lots of yellow in our book. So let me come in and add some yellow in certain places. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat. So that gives me some nice texture in there. Let me turn this a little sideways so you can see the whole book as it's going. And I think I'm going to bring just a little bit of blue in here because we've got lots of blue in our book. Not overthinking this, as you can see, at all. Just kind of doing it. And all of this may be covered at some point in time. Although I'm really liking it. I think I'm going to put some of that blue on the spine. Soften it just a hair. Get some blue in there. Maybe some blue on the bird. And we're going places with this, aren't we? And the idea is just play. Get in here and play. Play to your heart's desire. Make mistakes. Let things happen. Let things evolve as you're doing it. Um, sometimes you can go in with a big plan, but if I... What I have found in my artistic lifetime is when I go in with this big involved plan, somewhere along the way, I kind of take a right turn or a left turn and it just morphs into something else. So I think I am liking this. What I'm going to do and what I wanted to do with some molding paste was to um, add a little bit of our stencil element that we used in our book. So I think I may come in like that. And let me, well, I'll just use my little credit card here. Can't find my palette knife. So just kind of go for that. 
I'm not putting too much pressure on here. I'm just kind of letting it glide over there. So I can get that flower. And I'm leaving lots of texture. And here's a little trick I like to do. Just put the card or your palette knife your spreader up against there and pull back and that gives a little bit of peakiness in there so look at that that's gonna be really cool when it dries I'm gonna like that and I think I'm gonna come down here that is just molding paste Use your favorite. I'm going to go down here and wipe some of this off the stencil. And that gives me a way to clean my stencil, but also leaves another impression in there. And I think I'm pretty good. I'm just going to wipe this off the stencil and put it in water like I normally do with my little bottle of water there so that my stencil gets clean. And of course we have to let this dry now because we've done that. So I think we're pretty good for today. We have used a napkin to create a background. We have put some texture on with molding paste. We have put some watercolor on here. And I think we're doing pretty well so far so tomorrow we're going to come back we're going to work on this cover some more we will finish off those little flower elements we will move to the front so i'm excited about this what are you going to do on your cover i can't wait to see so i am asking you to get into your contagious creativity with me and then i want you to pass it on so come over and see me on Creativa on Facebook or on Rebecca E. Parsons on Instagram or um, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, my mind is being wackadoodle today. And go ahead and like and share and invite people to come join us. That's what I really want you to do so we can spread this contagious creativity everywhere. So if you like what I'm doing, do that for me. Anyway, this is Rebecca, and may joy be with you all.